Hi, it's me, Bring the Party Dua Lipa. Recently, we've been having so much fun with Realism Graph. The stuff is so fire. It consumes my mind, my moments, every single breath that I take. I love it. Now, by definition, Realism Craft is not an add-on, it's not a world. Instead, it's what Mojang is calling a dynamic world. A dynamic world, to put it in simple terms, is a combination of those two things and a little bit more. But did you know that Realism Craft is technically not Mojang's first dynamic world and absolutely is not the only dynamic world out there either? In fact, when it comes to dynamic worlds, there are so many more. Sit back, tap like, and make sure you're subscribed. Double check, because today we'll be taking a look at the other dynamic worlds. So dynamic worlds, we have quite a few. There's a lot here. We'll kick everything off today with Skyblock and Generator for the low price of 99 cents. So with this one, I think I know what to expect, but at the same time, I mean, I guess you never know. With this being a dynamic world, though, no matter what, every single time your seed is going to be different, which means theoretically, the world's different. Anyways, blah, blah, blah. Here we are inside of a brand new world. Whoa. Uh, I didn't expect this. I kind of thought I was just going to be dropped inside of the world. All generator settings can be changed at any time. Generated areas are not altered. Generator range, uh, biome sizes. There are so many options here, but let's just go ahead and go with whatever that is. So just like that, I don't know why I'm posing up, standing up like that. This is like it's realism craft or something. Anyways, just like that, I've joined myself into a brand new world. Oh no, is this the start of a brand new series? We have the tools right here. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa down there is that like the lush caves biome that's totally a lush caves island there there and there and then the dark oak forest biome so if i just maybe jump like that no big deal piece of cake and then if i well just i have nowhere else to go oh but check that out i'm now just noticing what i actually started the world with an ice whoa you be careful there an ice block a lava block what is this it's like proper sky block you start off with all of the materials for a generator but at the same time it's not exactly like a normal sky block because you got like the different islands you just make a bridge and like go over there and check that out sliding into creative minecraft more specifically the inventory all the way at the bottom to see if there's anything new a, oh a jetpack and a bench and oh okay there's some new stuff too Wow, okay, so this is already exceeding my expectations. I had no clue what to expect. I kind of just thought maybe a new world generation setting, but for 99 cents, you get all of this. This is beautiful. I like the resource pack, too. Can I use the tent, or is it just for looks? I, I think it's just for looks. All right, no big deal. Check that out. That's a scarecrow. Small, wow, that's actually beautiful. I, I think I fear to say that I need this in vanilla. All right, last but not least, the jetpack. I put it on, I jump off. The, oh, I jump off the ledge and I can fly. Oh, but I don't have so long. Oh, that's so cool. Wow, imagine being able to use that. I mean, I don't even have to imagine it. Just use it and go island to island right there. Oh, a spawner. Okay, so how about not? Wow, this is beautiful. I could explore it all day long. I love being in the aether myself. But today we have a little bit more things to check out. So let's move on. When I was looking at all of these dynamic worlds, this one right here, Biomes Plus, for that steep price of $10, really caught my eye. From taking a look at the listing here, it looks like we've got custom biomes, of course, custom plants, maybe some unique animals as well. In fact, definitely, and just a whole lot of beauty going on. With that steep price, I'm thinking, at least I'm hoping, that this one has a lot of depth to it. 12 seconds later. Whoa, uh, well, who are you, sir? Nice to meet you, uh, Biomes, a book, adventure, wow. Get ready to dive into the amazing world of Biomes, plus imagine a place where the usual landscapes get a cool makeover with unique plants. Of course, a swamp nature has added something seriously cool, new plants, beautiful. Oh, and there's, uh, oh, 55 pages. Oh my gosh, there are quite a few. How do I get out? Let me out of the book, please. Wow, wow, wow. So right off the bat, I started in spawn in the world inside of a tower, and this looks like it's a, oh, no, never mind. I take it back. It's a blimp. We spawned in a giant balloon. That is so cool. Now, right off the bat, I see the la- Oh, I, I see an elephant. You know what's a shame? That in a lot of these, my normal character creator's skin doesn't seem to work. Anyways, oh my god, that's an elephant. That's crazy. I like plants. I like me a good flower or two. The lavender. Like I'm, I guess, Taylor Swift or something. Here I am, walking around inside of the lavender fields. Bet you never thought you would see this inside of a video. But yeah, no, sure enough, it's me. Collab of the century. I know, I know. Can I pick these things up? Oh, yes, I can. Oh, new page unlocked. Oh, Oh, don't tempt me. Don't do that. I unlock pages as I start to find things? Um. Oh, shoot. This just got way more cool. Okay, so now there's a brand new goal. I need to set out into the world. Look at the small butterflies. I'm so sorry about this. I'm so sorry. 
Oh, wow. Just like that, a new dawn, it began. I need to explore the world and find not only cool-looking statues of a camel. You see it there? It's a camel. Hmm, but I need to actually, like, complete the compendium. That's wonderful. And this time, it's kind of nice. Like, you got the vanilla textures going on. Or at least, like, vanilla-like. Like, it's pretty similar. What's inside of the box? Ah, just random loot. Okay. That is a such a beautiful balloon oh my god now for the sake of exploration and getting things done wow quickly i switched the game mode whoa there's a giant road in here and a beautiful biome on the horizon oh wow and look at the savannah biome over there with the baobab trees wow okay this is insane immediately this is way more impressive than what i was thinking for ten dollars especially after seeing what realism craft did and i think realism craft is 10 bucks as well but Oh, wow, this is so cool. What in the world is that? Is that a deer? A deer, it's a deer. Oh, wow, it's a deer. Oh, this is insane. It's almost like right off the bat calling me to realism craft, right? But like in a way, if you don't maybe want all of the crazy things of realism craft, like the shaders, the movement, everything. Well, this is like the vanilla version, dare I say. What is that? White foxglove, nice. Yeah, so I wanted to say here, if there are any of the packs today that we take a look at that you'd like to see maybe a little bit more of an in-depth look at, you just let me know down below. If there's enough requests for a specific thing to be taken a look at a little bit more, then I will absolutely do it. What in the world are the golden trees? Then check this out. Maple planks. I planted a maple tree. It's red. Chestnut planks, on the other hand, I mean, it looks like a cross between maybe oak and birch. All right, so buddy with the golden hair looks to be a little bit of a birch tree, but that log is definitely different. I don't know if that's just a different texture, pack or what is that just birch no it's aspen huh like and parker aspen what whoa, whoa wait a second wait a second i don't know if it's just another tower i think actually it might just be another tower but i see a ladder in the middle of the woods and if my survival instincts have taught me anything random staircase in the middle of nowhere that goes somewhere nowhere mm, always taken you know, I actually love that the spyglass is just loot inside of these structures. It's such a cool way to say like, hey, go out into the world, explore a little bit, maybe use the spyglass and take a look around. Wow, so this is so cool. I'm running around and reading at the same time. This is like literally my seven-year-old dream come true, doing both things that I love to do. Redwood tree, baobab, I knew it, olive, uh-huh. All right, well, at sunset hour, this is stunning. It's beautiful. It's making me emotional in this road. We have this road that's been cutting through this area for like the longest time. That's such an interesting idea. And and at the same time, it almost makes Minecraft feel even more liminal than it already was. Now, like, picture a road in a forest. It opens up to a house. What is the size of that house? What does it look like? Is it fenced in? This is just, just so cool. As I continue to explore more and more, I find, like, different things. And it's just, this is fire. This is really cool. Next up, moving on from one heater to another. Capybaras Plus, a dynamic war. Now, this one really makes me wonder as to why this isn't an add-on. Maybe I'm assuming that this dynamic world came before add-ons were a thing because nowadays it feels like an add-on for like one mob and a bunch of things. That's such a fire idea, and I wish there were more of those instead of 70,000 different secret door ones. For that price of $1.99, sure, why not? It's a whole separate topic that I, whoa, okay, I spawned at the Shrine of Copy. Wow, um, no, no joke, no lie about it. You spawned, okay, all right. Well, you're jumped right into the immersive adventure. Is this a statue? Oh, oh, I'm sorry about that. It is definitely a statue. And look at the Capybara Amethyst block. If I power that, what does it do? Did I just spawn one? Wait, bro, 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 how are you sitting on the, the water? That is not logical. Mm. I'm gonna try my very hardest to just not be that guy for the day, though. Oh, look at the green statue. That's so cool. I want them all. What's inside of the chest? Uh, just, like, random food to get you started? And then what about this ancient capybara? Um, I don't want to hurt it. I would hate to be that person who comes along and just enters it. Capybara, for can I... Oh, I can speak with you. How'd I know? Welcome to a new world, a better world, filled with capybara. Capybaras can be encountered bathing in ancient structures like this one, or you might find them chilling randomly throughout your world. They're hungry creatures. They want to be bred with pumpkins and melons. They chew tree bark. Oh, the idea of a, like a mob that will actually like strip the logs for you inside of your world got them on its own instinctually. Oh, Mojang, please. Anyways, the babies, my small children. Oh, you want to eat? There you go. You can actually properly eat. Oh, look at that animation. Come on, buddy. You ate it. The watermelon in the water. You're crazy. Okay, I noticed like a little bit of lag with this one right off the bat, but I don't know if that's just because right off the bat, I'm at a structure. Anyways, copybara bush. I could place it down and copybara statue. Is there going to be like the different variants? How do I get 
get the laying down one? Do I need to crouch? Uh, maybe I need to crouch. Did I just figure it out just like that? I'm crouched? No? Okay, it's just a random variant. So this is a whole different debate, and I don't want to be that guy, but I also don't want to be like this guy and get all heated, but I really feel like add-ons need to get a little bit more diversity going on. Like, I feel like the add-ons need to be a little bit more unique, kind of like this one. I like how this is done, where there's like, hey, we're going to add a brand new mob, and that mob is going to be like idolizer. There's just going to be a bunch of stuff all around it. Okay, so after a little bit of exploration, I find something that is strange, but now that I get up close, this is totally just a ruined portal, I think, right? Buried from years of sand, yeah. And hey, now that I move farther away from World Spot, it seems to be running smoothly. Wow. Okay, so I look up Capybara. I wasn't seeing too much going on at the bottom, so I was thinking maybe there's not too much really added here. No big deal. Oh, but I take it back. Capybara bed. You can place it down, and I assume little buddy could go over and lay on it. Why do you sound like a bat? Huh. Is that how they really sound? A biome variants, are they a thing? Yeah, probably not. Yeah, definitely not. We have the brown and the other brown variant, but hey, I mean, that's fine. This is actually such a clean model, though. It's so polished feeling, and I love this little eating animation, too. That's adorable. It's like perfection. Here, sit on the bed. And while we're at it, you have the bed, too. Wait a second. Is this one meant to be blue? <laughs> um, okay, then. Next up, we're going to take a look at one that in my dreams becomes an add-on in the future. Like, I don't know why it isn't already. I guess maybe there's some limitation, maybe, from Mojang's part, cost of structure not being the same. I don't know. One day, please. Oh, boy, this one is expensive. It's almost painful for me to do. Eight dollars. Yikes. Oh, well, well, well. I wonder if this is... I didn't check. Is this by the Biomes Plus Maker? Because we kick everything off right here with a, a person that I can talk to in a structure right at the beginning. Now, yeah, well, well, we're at it. Borais, what's up? What do you want to tell me about? You should have received a guidebook. Well, actually, I did not. Do you want to get a head start with some tools? Yeah, yeah, sure. Why not? Oh, aha. There's the guidebook. That's weird. I didn't get the guidebook when I kicked everything off, but take a look. This has got to be the same thing. I saw that structure before, right? It's the same structure. All right, so anyways, thanks for the tools, but let's go ahead and take off to the skies. Moving around the world here, our one goal, one goal only, is to locate a new village after I check out the old village. I want to check out the old village here to see if this one has changed at all, which it doesn't really look like. It's a little bit of a strange generation. Maybe village is not the smartest, putting animals on gravel. Come on, come on, on ethical much that whatever that is in the world looks to be exactly different i have never seen this before is that a cage it's a cage cutting all the way down is there gonna be a cave village oh there's gonna be a cave village wow guys so take a look at this village that i found at 100 survival you're living in essentially a mine shaft this has got to be terribly dangerous right there's gonna be uh, zombies all over the place how are you not gonna get converted but i need to catch up to one of you who is running away no come back come back okay so this is what i was wondering about is uh what it's gonna be it's just a normal plain old classic profession sorry i lied oh wow look at that house right there though very vanilla feeling that's interesting with the furnaces as the wall we move into the building we have more furnaces as the wall okay oh copper another forge right across the road and a house that is going to be burnt down soon it's not really my problem though wow so already just from running from this one end looking all the way down that corridor this thing is absolutely massive when you want to talk about an underground village it's more like an underground civilization this is huge they all seem to jump off of their paths though i don't know what that says about the quality of life down here or, or what Ooh, a slime too, and a lava fall that burned the entire bridge. Yeah, maybe that's why Mojang never put the village under the ground, huh? Okay, uh, looking around down here, this looks to be exactly the same as the other side of the village, or at least has a lot of the same buildings. And not too far off from that initial one that I found, it's right there. I have another one right there. On the shore, I also have a different building, and I see another village. All right, so this looks to be like a small house on stilts. It's cool. I like the use of the trap doors. It looks nice. Turtle eggs right there. Oh, that's an interesting way to get them. Not what I expected, but I can't lie. I like it. For that expensive price, why not add a couple of other buildings around the world? So there's another village right there from the past, and take a look at that a mansion too so this village right here it looks to be just like that other one except a little bit less nice so let's go check out the nice one. Oh, this is so cool this is such an interesting idea maybe there are way more villages than i initially thought wow though this is such a cool idea to take the trail rune structure and like reimagine them and make them like alive and well again what in the world are you wearing the drip is so immaculate in fire i love the cyan 
This village feels so warm and welcoming too. Like instead of it all being doored off, I don't know how that deals with it when it comes to like nighttime that's oncoming. In fact, now that I think about it, maybe these are the early versions of villagers who didn't really learn about doors quite yet and how like actually essential they are to have on every single building if you want to survive the nighttime. Just a guess really, but maybe that's how the trail of ruins got ruined. Whoa, 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 whoa. Right off the bat, I found it. I thought it was an end city at first. It's crazy how like similar this stuff is, but whoa, there's um hey dare i say maybe many <laughs> and villages wow okay so let's just go ahead and pick out this random one whoa this is so cool imagine a concise and concentric base inside of the end oh you're tall my dear new friend can i talk to you oh wow i can and you're a different type of villager a dragon damer wow Wow, this is a really interesting idea to have traders inside of the end. And when I say traders, I mean traders on traders on, on traders. Am I right? Oh, but imagine making a base inside of the end like this, just like its own area floating up. So it's like safe and you like spawn proof it, but making it nice and bright. Yeah, wow, that is so cool looking desperately. Oh, look at the baby. <laughs> well, you want more villages? You're definitely going to get them with this one. Last but not least, the idea intrigued me here. This is like a zombie apocalypse survival setting. It's going to completely shift what you need to do in Minecraft. From the looks of things, there are going to be different types of zombies that you're going to have to deal with too. For dollar, and it's mine. All right, so starting Bruh. things off inside of this world, I feel like I need to hit the ground running. I immediately spotted the world, and I'm under the ground next to... Why is there andesite on the coral? That's so weird. Upon reaching dry land, we have ourselves an explorer book. This is going to break down everything that's going on here, and this is just like the add-on books. And one part of the book that I particularly like is this part near the end, where you kind of got the specific stats on what's going on with your different zombie types. Anyways, though, moving on, I found a brand new building right off the bat. This little eye item right here is basically your score board you're gonna get rewards from taking out zombies jumping into zombie apocalypse house it looks like right off the bat we have a spawner that's not good and please don't tell me i came here for nothing i'm not triggering zombies you just spawned into the world surely no right oh you're so creepy pasta looking no 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 you just wait on there i just need to check out the rest of the loot wow okay so you find the abandoned house and it's a total trick it's a trap you go into the house and there, there's literally nothing here it's pointless i just started the apocalypse and so the uh, zombie apocalypse it kicks off all thanks to none other than yours truly Huh, so now that it's the end of the world, I wonder if in the daytime it's just gonna be bright, sunny, and happy because that's a little boring. Oh, wow, okay, so all over the place and at nighttime, I don't know if all other hostile mobs ones have been removed, but look at all the zombies left, right, center. What in the world, the zombie wolf? No, thank you, please, I just wanna check out the house. Probably should get some blocks to block myself into the house, right? Mmm, okay, somebody exploded. I don't know, we had an exploder. You know, I'm gonna be honest, I don't have the time or desire for a spawner right now today. I actually believe it or not. No, no, not the dog. I would never do this to a dog. Look away, look away, you hear nothing. Okay, all right, there's more. Where do you all come from? Where do you all come from? Get out of my house. No, you're gone, you're gone. Leave me alone. Ah, <sighs> and so at last, home sweet home inside of my other different abandoned structure. It looks like this is just another abandoned house to maybe perhaps world a building, a lower building or something like it. What? The popper. I'll admit it, this one is probably one of those ones where you're gonna need to really jump into your world and play for a while to really get the true vibe. The zombie things that I added new blocks and items though, so I'm curious, whoa. So those are some new items for sure. How about the blocks? Are there new blocks? You know, maybe I uh, misread it. It definitely said new items, but m maybe not blocks. These all look the same. Anyway, let's check this out. Go ahead and equip all of that and look at how sweet I look. I look good. This sword right here has 20 attack damage. That is actually insane. That's gonna one hit so many things. Wait, so now that I spawned over here, I'm seeing a lot more normal mobs again. Oh, but there's some crawlers. Check out with this sword though. You gotta one hit everything. Oh, with the bone sticking out. You're terrifying. No, thank you. What in the world is that thing? That's like a crazy looking bearded zombie. I'm so sorry about that, but goodbye. Oh, is that a zombie kitten? I'm so sorry. No, I don't know who in the world thought it was funny to explode on me or earlier but i don't think it was you what i want to know about here is the zombie with this 20 hit sword this giant one that's 20 that's 40 that's 60 that's 80 you know this is actually pretty enjoyable running around with a weapon that can one hit everything but in a normal setting i can imagine this would be quite difficult and so now that i'm a professional my stats <laughs> clearly i'm cleaning them up
and some of the other Minecraft dynamic worlds. What do you think? Which one was your favorite today? Should I do this again? You let me know all the information down below. Thank you all so much for watching. It's been me, Waddles. Whoa, whoa, he just broke it itself. I know this stuff isn't technically an add-on, but on the end card will be the add-on playlist. You check it out next. Thanks for watching. It's been me, Waddles. I'll see you all tomorrow. Goodbye.